Hello and welcome to Craft with Sarah. Today's new design is one for all of you sports fans out there. It's a layered cardstock design with lots of different balls from different kinds of sports and there's loads of dimension in this for a really great 3D design. I'll show you how to make this in this video but if you really do love sports make sure you stay all the way to the end for something extra special that's coming up right now. You can download the free cutting file for this project at craftwithsarah.com forward slash free dash SVGs or follow the link in the description of this video to go straight to the download page. The download comes in a zip folder and you need to unzip this before you can upload the files into Cricut Design Space. Once you've downloaded and unzipped the download folder, it's time to get the SVG into Cricut Design Space. Open up Design Space and start a new project then go to Upload over on the left and then Upload Image. You can then either click Browse to find a file on your computer or drag and drop it in. Make sure you choose the unzipped version of the folder and then the file to select is the one which starts SVG in the file name. Click and drag it in and it should look like this with all the pieces one on top of the other. If yours looks different and you see the pieces next to each other instead, that means you've accidentally uploaded the wrong file. So if that's the case, click cancel down here on the bottom right, try again and make sure you choose the one which starts SVG. This is all looking good, so I'll press upload and then it will appear in your recent upload. So you can click it to get the green border and then press add to canvas. And here it is. It does load in at a nice size to cut, but I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and go for 7.5 inches tall. When you're resizing, make sure this padlock icon at the top of the width and height box is closed. That way, when you type in one measurement and hit enter on your keyboard, the other one changes in proportion too. I'm actually thinking that might be a little bit big, so I'm going to go 7 inches tall, which is just over 8 inches wide. All the colours and everything are already set up for you, so there's nothing else to do. We can just go ahead and click make on the top right, nice and easy. Design Space now has this little prompt, which asks if you want to save before you send it to the machine. For this design, as I didn't really do anything to it, I'm not going to worry about saving it. Design Space will now separate out all of your colours. You can change the paper size in the drop down down here. And then you can click and move things about by dragging with your mouse to move them and take up less space on your cardstock. Just make sure when you're doing that, nothing overlaps. When you're happy with how everything is looking, press continue and then follow the on-screen instructions to get everything cut out from cardstock with your Cricut machine. Once you've got everything cut out from your cardstock, lay all the pieces on top of each other in order so that you can check you haven't missed anything and that you're happy with all of the colours. We're going to be sticking this together with a combination of glue and foam squares. This is the glue that I'm going to be using but there are lots of different types you can use and these are the foam squares. Mine are quite small which is going to work well for getting in all these small little sports balls but if yours are bigger that's fine you can just cut them smaller with a pair of scissors. As with all my layered designs we'll start at the bottom and work upwards so I'm going to move some of these pieces apart let's try and keep them all together and keep going until I get to the bottom which is the blue for the sky and the white clouds on top. This will be a foam square layer, so I've turned it upside down. I'm going to add my foam. And this is where you kind of need the smaller bits or to cut it smaller if yours is big so that you can put your foam squares in this top section. So we're adding quite a few in there and in the little clouds like this. As well as going around the edge, we also need to put some foam squares in this middle section because if you don't, 
then there's nothing in all of this area to keep the cardstock nice and flat. So you'll find it will sort of bend downwards into um, the bottom of the blue. But by putting some foam squares in this bit, it means it'll be nice and stable and level and give you a much better and more pronounced dimensional effect. I'm also going to put some in this bit of the goalposts for exactly the same reason. And these are very little, so let's give some of these a little snip in half so that they'll fit. You don't want your foam squares going over the edge of any of these bits of cardstock, otherwise you'll see them when it's all stuck together. We want them to be nice and hidden. Oop. <laughs> Got it stuck to my finger instead of where I actually want it to go. There, and just one more teeny tiny piece on that one, and then we should be good. Now I can peel the tops off of these to release the stickiness underneath. Right, that's all those taken up. So then I'll bring this in, and I'm going to line it up and then gently drop it on top when it matches the shape of the blue underneath. Now don't push it down yet, just give it a gentle drop. That way, if you weren't happy with the positioning, you can pick this up and move it without damaging anything as it isn't stuck yet. But I think that's looking good, so I will push down to seal all of that. Okay, next we have this green layer to make up the grass at the bottom, and this is a glue layer. I like this glue from Tonic Studios because it's got a nice thin nozzle on it which makes it easy to put in my narrow areas. Put that one on, line it up. This time we can wiggle it about because the glue doesn't dry instantly. There we go. And then next is the final background layer and this will be another glue layer. That's the background done, although I seem to be missing one of the clouds. I think I must have accidentally thrown that bit away. So I'll add that in after I've recorded this, but you should have another cloud, I think, to uh, go just on here with some foam. Um, can't see it anywhere. <laughs> Don't know what I've done with that. So I'm gonna move on to doing the sports balls. And at the very bottom is this orange piece for our basketball. And this will be another foam square layer. Just add the lid on my glue so it doesn't dry out in between. And then once again, just to add a good amount of foam squares around the edge and in the middle. can line this up using the little shapes along the top and the bottom of the balls and drop it down and push down when you're happy. The next piece to stick on is this one for the basketball and you can line this up using these little bits at the bottom because they match up with there and this is a glue layer. Brilliant. Next we have this white piece, which is another foam square layer. So this goes on, you can line up the edges to get that into position. Next we've got this bit to make the edges of the football. So you can line that up where all of these edges meet the other balls around it. And this will be a um, glue layer. There's that one. Okay, next we've got our American football, which will go here. 
and I will foam this one too. Sorry if you can hear some whirring. <laughs> My uh, boiler has just come on, which is right next to where I'm filming. So you might be able to hear that, but it's much needed because it is frosty outside. <laughs> so uh, a little bit of warmth is quite appreciated. That one on there. And then on top of that one, we've got this detail, which will be glued. Brilliant. And then for the final side, we've got these little uh, baseball. So we'll foam the white. Has loads of dimension in this one, which is really cool. And now this gets a little bit tricky, but we're going to glue on the next two layers of the baseball. I'm trying to be very delicate with my glue there. And don't push down too hard, otherwise your glue will smush out the sides, which we don't really want if we can help it. And then the ring to go on top. You can leave this off if you want, if it's a little bit narrow for you, but it's really just to give it a little bit more definition. Perfect. Right, onto this side. Kicking things off with a volleyball, which you don't even kick. So that didn't really make sense, but <laughs> I'm sure you know what I was trying to say. I'll foam square this one. That one goes just on there and then glue this one. Just pops right on top there. And next we'll do the tennis ball. Again, foam the solid and then we'll glue the details. You can probably guess where this is going for the rest of them. The nice thing about lots of circles is it doesn't actually matter which way round you stick it on. <laughs> I think these bits are even narrower than the baseball. One on there. That one on top. Okay, bowling ball now. I think I might actually glue this one and then foam the two in front. But it's up to you. If you would prefer to foam this one, you can. I'm just thinking it's getting quite deep. And the one on top will be a glue layer either way. one on there and then for my golf ball and the back of the um, snooker ball foam that one on <laughs> there we go and then glue the magic eight ball beautiful all right, so here is my layered sports ball design all finished, apart from that missing cloud I need to go and find. And I hope you enjoyed seeing all of this deck together. But if you are a sports fan, don't go anywhere just yet because I've got something very exciting for you, which is going to fulfill all your sports layered design needs probably forever. Let's take a look. If you love sports and crafting, check out my brand new sports mega bundle. It contains layered cardstock cut files for a whopping 50 different sports. From American football to soccer, baseball to cricket, water sports, team sports, martial arts, car and motorbike sports and everything in between. All your favourite sporting themes in one affordable SVG bundle. 
Male and female versions are included for each design that features a person, and there are also a wide range of cut files solely focused on the sport, without any people in them. My layered SVG files retail for $5 each, which means purchasing all 50 designs would usually cost $250. However, you can purchase the Mega Bundle for just $37, getting you all these sporty designs at a much reduced price. But hurry, this price is only available until midnight EST on Wednesday 31st of January. After that, the bundle price will rise to $97. Here are a few more designs from the bundle, but you can view all 50 of them at craftwithsarah.com forward slash bundle dash sports. I hope you enjoy this sports collection. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll be back soon with more cricket crafting tutorials, but for now, thank you so much for watching. Bye!